to drill into Florida specifically. Dr. Abel, let's start with you. And let me introduce uh, once again the two doctors that are kind enough to be with me today. Dr. Abel, the New York Times took a detailed look at what's happening inside one of the hospitals in your system, Jackson Memorial in Miami. The piece really focuses on the ICU. It said these days inside the COVID ICU, almost everything is worse. What is about the cases this time around that's making it worse? Thank you, Jose. There are several things that are different and making it worse. To put things in perspective, last year in the summer when we had our peak, we went from 2,000 patients to 10,000 patients in a period of 60 days. Right now, what we're seeing with the Delta variant is we're going from 2,000 to 9,000 cases in 21 days. So we're seeing much faster people getting very sick. We have to reopen COVID units and COVID ICU beds, and the healthcare workers are exhausted. It's just environmental services, your nurses, respiratory therapists, physicians. So last year, we didn't have a vaccine. This year, we have a vaccine, we have monoclonals, and we have people who still are questioning science. Even though we have a vaccine that is over 90% effective, we have three vaccines for free available in the U.S. So there is a lot of frustration in what we're seeing. And we're here standing up to take care of the community, but the community needs to do their part. Dr. Octor, you're treating patients at Kendall Regional Medical Center. What are you seeing there? Well, I agree with what everybody else has said. Basically, we're getting this crush of patients uh, as you know, by the huge COVID surge, we're getting a ton more COVID patients than just a couple of weeks ago. It's almost like it popped out of nowhere. Uh, but the other thing is you're getting all the other patients as well. I think this gets forgotten. It's not just COVID patients. All the other patients have their heart attacks, their gallbladder infections, et cetera. And while last summer, maybe some people are avoiding the ER because of fear of the pandemic, this summer it feels like people are feeling like things are maybe going back to normal, even though they're clearly not. And so now you've got both the crush of normal patients as well as the COVID ones. There are massive delays in the ER, lots of boarding, delayed care, huge shortages in staff. It's really a, I don't even want to say double whammy. It's like a quadruple whammy. It's a very stressful. There's about 10,000, over 10,000 COVID patients in hospitals in Florida right now. That's a new record. Dr. Fauci just said this about the current spike in cases. I don't think we're going to see lockdowns. I think we have enough of the percentage of people in the country, not enough to crush the outbreak, but I believe enough to not allow us to get into the situation we were in last winter. But things are going to get worse. We're looking to some pain and suffering in the future because we're seeing the cases go up. And Dr. Doctor, based on your experience in Miami, do you agree with Dr. Fauci? I completely I agree. Not that. I'm sorry. I, 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 we both have similar last names. Sorry, Jose. Who's that for? Yeah, we're both in Miami, so I wasn't sure. You go ahead, please. Okay, so let's try. Uh, let me let me ask that question to to, uh, to Mortaza. How's that? First names easier. Mortaza, do you agree with Dr. Fauci? Uh, in terms of pain and suffering, yes, I think there is more ahead. Uh, we saw these spikes happen in the Netherlands recently, and the fear was will it come here, and it did. Uh, if you look at the spike in Miami, Dr. Abel can attest to this. It's basically directly vertical. Uh, and that's what it feels like in the emergency department, too. Uh, a ton more patients. I think we're in it for quite a while. And remember, it's a transmissible disease, uh, as infectious disease specialists can tell you. Uh, so it's not just a matter of those people coming in getting sick. They're also spreading it to others. Uh, and so I think we're in it for, for still a while, which is unfortunate because it's already looking very bad. Uh, Dr. Lillian, uh, it's amazing to think that just, you know, last year we didn't have a, a vaccine and that you all were slammed in, in South Florida. Uh, last July, I guess, was the peak for Jackson Memorial Hospital. Uh, how do you continue dealing with this issue when you know that this is completely avoidable? It's extremely frustrating. I, I, you know, I've, I have young kids. I want my kids to go back to school to have a normal life. Uh, when you see that the cure is in your hands and people can, can do something to prevent this as easy as wearing a mask again, because we have more than 12% transmission just in Miami-Dade County and getting vaccinated. So I think there are a couple of calls to action right here. 
First, what Dr. Fauci said is extremely right. We have a Delta variant that is very, very contagious. This is a game changer. We are no longer working with the original strain. We are working with a strain that is as contagious as chickenpox. We need healthcare workers to get vaccinated and we need the rest of the community to do their part. And as we said before, vaccines take time to work. You need about two weeks. Number three, people need to wear their mask. We have high transmission in Florida. The vaccine is like wearing a seatbelt, but if you don't drive safely, you can still get into an accident. So you need to wear your mask and get vaccinated. And everyone needs to stand up and support the healthcare workers because we also have mental health and we also have families and we also have our needs. And there is no right for us to cancel our vacations or to keep our kids at home uh, when you are going out and being reckless, not getting vaccinated or wearing your mask. Everyone has to stand up if you continue to want healthcare workers care, care, taking care of you, or you may end up in the ER where you will have a urologist intubating you because we don't have more ICU physicians taking care of people. Muy bien dicho. Very well said, Dr. Lilian Abel. Thank you very much at Jackson Memorial. Well, by the way, my family and I got vaccinated. And Dr. Mordeza, doctor, thank you very much for being with me this morning. There's still a lot more this hour, including the race to pass. <laughs> 